and today we're going to look at a movement that I'll call standing tall. I love this movement. I actually learned it from a Shroff therapist named Hagit Bertaszewski. She refers to it as corkscrew, and this is just a really great way to find as much height through the body. It also uses the arms out to the side, so there's a lot of global expansion, and it's a quick way just to help us feel tall and wide and expanded. And I sometimes like to start a class with this. I also like to end a class with this. So I hope you enjoy this as well. So for standing tall, take your feet um, about as wide, maybe a little wider than your pelvis. And then your hands will go at your pelvis. So you want to make sure you're not at your waist, you're actually down on your pelvis. And you'll start by pressing your pelvis down to lift your ribs and your head up, getting as tall as possible. And then from here, reach your arms out to the side, spread your fingers, feel the width and the global expansion and reach those fingertips up. You can imagine that you're reaching for the clouds. Your feet are descending towards the ground. And then turn the palms away from each other and press down as the crown of the head floats up. Pressing down but floating up. And then we'll do that again. Take your hands to your pelvis, press your pelvis down. And then this time, if you're able to, you might rise up onto your toes and reach the hands out, expand out to the side, reach up towards the ceiling, reaching up. See if you can grab maybe at the rainbow up in the sky. And then float the heels down softly. The palms are facing each other. Turn the palms away. Press the feet into the ground. Press the hands down, but float the spine up towards the ceiling. And then again, we'll take the hands to the pelvis. Now, a few things about the pelvis. We do want to check if your pelvis has a shift that you bring the pelvis to the center. So you want your pubic bone right in between your two feet. You also want to check that as you stand, you have your pelvis over, I like to think of it being over my inner ankle bones. Make sure it's not too far forward. So make sure that the pelvis is over the inner ankle bones and the pubic bone is in between the two feet. And then you can press the pelvis down to grow nice and tall. Maybe if you're able to, if you're not, it's absolutely fine. You might come up onto your toes. Reach the arms out, expand, be tall and wide, the palms face each other. And now I like to imagine that we're reaching our fingertips for a pot of gold at the bottom of the rainbow. And you've just got it in your fingertips, you lower your heels down, you turn your palms away and you bring that gold down with you. And the crown of the head floats up. And the feet descend. And now we're standing tall and we're also standing wide. Thanks for joining me today. Once again, my name is Jen Gorman. I'm a patient advocate and teacher for people with spinal fusions and scoliosis. I teach Pilates and yoga, and I'm also a personal trainer. 
If you'd like to find out more about me, you can find me at scoliosisandbackcare.com. Thanks so much.